itu NDB Bank Records show that 75% of its car loans are completely repaid. Analysis on the unpaid loans show that 85% were made to applicants who had been employed at their present job for less than 2 years. Of the repaid loans, 25% were made to applicants who had been employed at their present jobs for less than 2 years. A. Draw a tetragram to represent the above information. So, based on the statements, there are 75% of its car loans are completely repaid. So, the unpaid one was 25%. So, for the paid, repaid is 0.75 and the unpaid one is 0.25. Now, the statement says there are 85% were made to applicants who had been employed at their present jobs for less than 2 years. So that means on the unpaid loans, there are 85% uh, were made to applicants who had been employed at their present job for less than 2 years. So for the more than 2 years, it was 0 0.15 which is 15%. Next. Of the repaid loans, there are 25% were made to applicants who had been employed at their present jobs for less than 2 years. That means, on the repaid loans, there are 25% were made to applicants who had been employed for the less than 2 years. So, for the more than 2 years, there are 75% which is 0 0.75. Next, for question B. What is the probability that a particular loan applicant will be employed at his or her present job for less than 2 years? So that means we must find PT which is T for less than 2 years. So from PT, uh, we must find PP intercept T plus PP prime intercept T. So from P intercept T, we will get 0 0.75 times 0 0.25 and P prime intercept T we will get 0 0.25 times 0 0.85 so if we sum up we will get 0 0.40 that is the final answer for question B next for question C given that a particular loan applicant has spent more than two years on the present jobs what is the probability that this person will repay the loan? So we must see on the repaid loan in the tree diagram. So the question asks for P, P given T prime. So from P, P given T prime, we will get P, P intercept T prime over P, T prime. So from P, P intercept T prime, we will get 0.75 times 0 0.75 uh, so for pt prime um, based on the tree diagram we have two which is pt prime given p and pt prime given p prime so we can, must combine the two which is we must sum up so we will get 0 0.75 times 0 0.75 plus 0 0.25 times 0 0.15 so when we sum up we will get 0 0.5625 over 0 